Hello guys and welcome back to the Thermal Mods series. In this episode we are moving on with the machines and we are taking a look at the sawmill. It's quite similar to the pulverizer in, in some ways. Uh, it breaks things into pieces and you can use it to recycle various things. So check the recipe. It's uh, actually pr it's probably more than you think. So let's a few interesting recipes to start with before we go really deeply into the augments. You can actually break quite a few things. Recycling, for example, stairs, boats and lots of other things. Uh, we can make things out of carrots, let's see. Carrots can be um, mangled or sawed into biomass and as well as quite a few other organic things. Just remember the number. And perhaps the most common one for the sawmill is turning oak or any wood into planks. All right, so let's take a look. I think it's, yeah, here we go. So resawing things, getting uh, sawdust as a byproduct, as you can see. Sawmill, you get sodas from, well, not all things, but qu quite a lot of them. And we're getting our planks, we're getting biomass from, from the carrots and melons and so on. So that's a basic functionality. And what the sawdust, well, let's talk about that quickly. Basically, it's a crafting ingredient. So if we take those. For example, you can make paper out of it, like that. It's four, yeah, four sawdust and and one water. So that's kind of interesting. But you can also make sawdust. If you take a look at the crafting recipes, no, not that one. There are not too many. And compressed sawdust, we have seen this before, and just a reminder, in case you don't remember, run it in the redstone furnace with the pyrolytic conversion augment. This will give you charcoal and creosote oil. Let's take a look here. Ah, I think you had time to see it, but trust me, Creosote oil, so that's, uh, that can also be used. So it's actually worth, or it can be worth, resawing your wood into, into planks because you get six instead of four. So I mean, that's good by itself, but you also get a byproduct that's actually useful either for energy or for some other crafting. So let's move on with the augments. As you've seen before, we can use the reception coil to just speed things up. You can see this resonant with four reception coils is quite fast. Let's turn it on. Oh, I had it set for in out, right. So quite fast if that's what you need and but there are some other augments that may be more interesting, uh, depending on what you want to do or what you need. So as we could see with the pulverizer, we had a few of those, auxiliary, auxiliary sieve, for example, and the nullification chamber. They are also present here with the sawmill. So the first one, increasing the chance of an uh, of the output, of the secondary output. So if we take some wood here and dump it in here, we will have more sawdust coming out. Uh, let's turn it on. So that can be good. And it well, if you want lots of sawdust or something else, but this one stacks. So remember that you can have several sieves in the sawmill as well. Okay, let's turn this on because it's noisy. 
And then the nullification chamber, like before, it is used to destroy the excess secondary. And that only means that if you have 64 here, the, the excess will be destroyed. But up to 64, it will be stored, so you can still use it in here. So let's see. Oh, we're quite full already. Sorry. So if we make like this, we have just a sawdust here and only output the the main product. Then the machine will continue to run even though we normally stop here. So if I remove this, we will stop because we can't fit anymore, but this one will just remove it. So in case you want sawdust, well use the use the auxiliary receive. And if you don't, well use a notification chamber. So the next augment is the resin funnel. This is something that turns your sawmill into, you can see we have a fluid tank here when we insert it. So we're getting something different. So if we take our oak wood, for example, and we're not outputting this, let's try again. Then you can quickly see that we get sap as well as the planks and sawdust. So we can send the planks and sawdust back here, but the fluid needs a tank or a fluid actor or whatever. So this is a byproduct that, well, let's turn it on. And there are actually some other things as well. Dark wood will give you more than oak wood, for example. So if we take a look here to get sap, we can use oak and dark and we get double the amount from the dark one. But what do we use it for? Well, we craft something called, or it's a fertilizer, but it's called Phytogrow or Pyto, I don't know. The Pytogrow is a fertilizer that uh, the normal one is just a crafting recipe for sawdust, nitre and slag. But the rich Pyto one is made from the normal Pyto grow together with the sap, and this will give you rich Pyto grow or Pyto grow. And then there's a third tier as well, and you make it in the energetic infuser and infuse your rich Pyto grow with energy to make it even better. So, quick example, let me just warp, would be in this phytogenic insulator. This is something that will grow trees from saplings and uh, we use this fertilizer here. And fluxed phytogrow is a better fertilizer than the, than the phytogrow and the rich one. So that's one example and there are also some other. For example, if I use it on the ground, it's uh, like bone meal like that, but it's a larger area. And I think it also works on saplings. Let me try it. Or three by three perhaps. And then the other ones are even, even better. So what do we do with all this? Well, you can actually combine things together here. For example, if you have saplings, which you sometimes get a lot of if you have tree farms, then you can actually saw them into, into saw, sawdust and pulped biomass. This is a product from sowing these, uh, these saplings. And you have a 50% chance to get sawdust, which is also used oops, in, uh, in the crafting here. So I'm making pulped bioblend from, uh, from these and then I'm sending them to a magma crucible which will turn them into bio crude and then the bio crude can be enriched into something called grassoline. And if you watch this series before, we have covered grassoline before as it's, uh, it's a good fuel for the compression dynamo with a specialization. A specialization it can actually give even more energy than normally. So if we turn all these on, we'll 
retrieve some uh, saplings and we are sending them up and away and then refining and there you have some good fuel just from these saplings and nothing else than power. Okay, I think that pretty much covers the sawmill. Um, I'll try to get back later in the series with some uh, larger examples like the one I just showed you. Uh, but um, it will take some time because it's not finished yet. Alright, if you have any questions, you know where to leave them. And... Uh, I'll see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.